Hello, the internet. This might be not be the start of a new video, but we are now at the next nursery. Um, I still have to decide in editing if I'm going to put certain nurseries together or keep them separate or whatever. But we are now at Cross Creek Nursery. There is a large truck behind me, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> Um, so we're going to go in and look around. This is the place that tends to be a little expensive. Um, but I'm going to try and not comment on that too much because I just am. Um, but yes, we're going to go in and see if there's anything worth getting. And there's going to be plenty to look at. So that's, you know, the main reason for going in. All right, so we're walking in. Um, I think they usually, oh, this isn't usually open, or it is? Those look like outdoor plants, so. Okay, so we're, we're going to go down here first, and we'll figure it out as we go. All right, so on this side, we have banana trees. We have some birds of paradise. We have some monsteras. We have some begonias and some pepperomias. Hmm. Where are you? I don't know what that is. A bunch of hanging baskets. Oh, they have little baby watermelon pepperomias. <laughs> so cute. If I didn't already have one of those, I probably would grab it. Bird's nest fern. Yeah. And it is definitely nice and warm and sunny in here. Aluminum plant. We just happened to run into the um, terrarium plants all first. I don't know, because that's what was here. Look around on this side. Oh, Pepperomia graviolin. Mm -hmm. yep, they have the little succulent that's got the facets on it. Those are always really cool looking. Calathea mm -hmm. medallion, pretty small, but not bad. All right, I'm making a conscious effort to go slower. Is it working well for you guys? I can't tell. And some more watermelon pepperonias. Okay. Um, okay, so what do we have over here? There's hibiscus here. There's trailing. There's some uh, alocasia over there. Um, Cordylines. Dracaena. More cord lines. All right, so we're gonna head this way, past the cord lines, and oh, they got some Hoyas here. Hoya carnosa. A bunch of Hoya carnosa baskets. Um, lipstick plant, Mona Lisa. Some string of pearls, some Hoya Carii, the Crimson Queen over there. It looks like the only one. A nice big fern. Look, yeah, Hoya pubicalix. I'm starting to recognize some of these um, Hoyas. Oh, and they have tiny little Hoyas here. So see if I knew what this was, it might be like, oh my gosh, that's rare, but I have no idea. So they do have the little Carnosa compactus there though. Oh, and some more baskets. Some more baskets. That, yeah. Oh no, there's a couple queens over here. <laughs> All right, and then over to the succulent. 
cute little guys here. They have some little stringer dolphins. I don't think I'm trying that again. Don't care enough. Oh, they have, and they have bigger stringer dolphins. Lots of kind of dolphins. Don't step on the barrel cactus. Perfect. Oh, let's, uh, I have one of those. Agave. Doing good, thank you. All right, thank you. does not say. Yeah, I guess none of those say. how many of these I recognize anymore. I'm not calling out all the names because that would just be silly, but like, it's just pretty, it's pretty amazing. And, oh, they got like a nice cactus section. Nice barrel cactuses. That one's kind of pretty. They're like my colored spines. Um, and then they have some orchid cactus up here, looking really nice and healthy. Really nice big rickrack cactus. Can they, like mine might get that big someday, someday. Oh, and I got some more of these. <laughs> Tiny cactus are just the cutest little things. Okay. Oh, they got more tiny cactuses down here. Alright, and what do we got over here? Aloes. Mostly aloe vera, a couple snowstorms. But yeah, mostly, mostly just that. Alright, and then we got peace lilies. We have this large, impressive specimen. All the way. And then they had to cut it off because it ran out of space. Some jade poppers. And tinier, tinier peace lilies. That's probably the smallest peace lily I've ever seen, just in person. I think they grow pretty fast, so it's not really like a huge thing. Got some African violet. Lovely. And Tritiscanthia. And we have some carnivorous plants. I got my, um, my one Venus flytrap from here, and it did very, very well. Um, yeah, they have a couple Saracenias. Uh, little guy there. There's no, like, names on any of them. I'm pretty sure they all just say Venus flytrap red or you just dry throughout three inch or you know whatever so but they have this cute little i guess this is a bog planter tiny little bog planter there and they have 
have a carotene there. Oh, that almost looks like Tarnuff. Ah, but it doesn't say. So. That one's absolutely not bad. But I just got a whole bunch of them, so I'm not going to worry about it. If they had something impressive, I probably would have grabbed it, but not really. Um, they do have some of them flowering, though, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Got some more variegated of these. The leopard. Leopard something. Can't remember. They got some pretty big, I mean, that's a pretty big pot of that. I don't think I've ever seen them that, that money. Many. And we got some cocos. Mandula pocos. Pocos are arguably the easiest of all hand house plants to grow. I guess arguably, sure. Um, I guess I kind of want to go. Oh, we've got ferns here. I don't think we care too much about ferns. That's, that one's kind of pretty because it's red there, but. If you guys really like ferns, you're going to have to let me know. Because I do not hang out with ferns very much. Um, what do we got? And then there's ivy over here. Sorry for the noise. The fans are going. We got some nice ivy. Some ficus. Oh, that's actually not a bad price. Huh. Man, look how red those are, though. Look at that leaf. Wow. I assume those are burgundies. Yeah, okay, they are burgundies, not Tenekis. Okay, the Tenekis are down there. All right, um, then we've got some more ficus. Wow, and they're really, really big. Really, really big. I don't remember seeing that last time. Um, and then some tiny little, tiny little fiddles. And then slightly bigger fiddles. fiddles. Um, I think we'll go here. What do we got here? Anthuriums. Very white anthuriums. Oh, and this guy. All the way up there and down. A little fly on him. I don't know why I find that fascinating, but you know. All right. Oh, all right. And now we've got begonias over here. Yay, begonias! Yay, begonias! What do we got? Anything special? That one's kind of pretty. Got a couple of red kisses. That's a red kiss. This is not a red kiss. Specialty plant basket. Left mostly on my own. Oh, this kind of looks like the the one that I just got. The Evan, or I call it Eventide. Yeah. That looks like an escargot. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an escargot. <laughs> and then up I saw it I saw a little lizard he ran I saw him I know right why did he not stay to be on my on my channel I keep seeing him out of the corner of my eye there he is there he is all right we'll leave you alone now you're on my channel there's your thumbnail yeah, I know, right? All right, some tuberous begonias and then rex begonias. Nothing that's really catching my eye, though. Um, all right, so we got our umbrella trees, our very bright petonias, as petonias are want to be. Some skeeter plants already putting out little babies. This is like a curly one. Those are cool. Um, 
not really much up. I've, I have been looking up, I just haven't been moving the camera up, so. Alright. Yep, and we got some allocations. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent price for that. I know, my husband is looking at that price going, that's a decent price for that? Yes, that's actually a decent price for that. Hmm. Yeah, there's another one in there, but yeah, we're not surprised. That one actually has two. Huh. <sighs> That would be a, uh, that would definitely be a purchase, and I'm not sure I'm prepared to make it, so. I'm not prepared to argue my case to my husband, who is right behind me, rolling his eyes at the price. This is interesting. What is this? It doesn't say. This leaves are really interesting looking, though, huh? Oh, they've got a couple of them there. Pepperoni ladies. And still, uh, the eye. Very leggy and so the eye. Oh, some other Adansoni eye. Narrow form. That looks like narrow form. I don't know. Does that look more narrow than that to you? Probably. A little bit. Still end from Brazil with some huge leaves on them. Look at those. Wow. Ooh, that one. Very nice looking. Much more monsters. Ooh, nice. McKaylee's finale. Man, I wish mine looked like that. I think I might need to give it more light. I think I would like to go outside. It's just not being happy inside. Oh, and Rafa the Four catches sperma. Meh. I know. Some people are like, oh my god. I'm like, no, whatever. I have a lot of Amazonia here. That's nice. Philodendron Birkins. At a much more reasonable price than they were the last time they were here. They had a plant that big for 109. Oh, let's see how big, how much this one is. This is an actually a large plant. Okay, see, that one is. I still wouldn't pay that, but. Huh? Oh, and they have good under moonlight. I think that's what that is. Oh, Malay Gold. Okay, I don't know what those are. I'm not a super fan of that color on uh, plants in general, but... Oh, Prince of Oranges? Wow, those are really pretty colors. Look at those. Yeah, that orange. And the Michaelis Finale. I want my Michaelis Finale to look like that. That's probably a Prince of Orange, but that's a McKaylee's finale. Just need more light. Just need more light. That's all. That's all. Throw it under in something. Oh, oh my God, a girl mark. Holy crap, really? They're all really large, though. I do not want one enough to have a plant of that size. They're really in good condition though. I mean, if I wanted one, that would be a good price for that. I'm actually pretty impressed, truthfully. So yeah, I'd prefer one in a slightly smaller pot size. All right, Chinese evergreens. Always beautiful. Always beautiful, but I never end up getting one. Guys up there. Take this Audrey. I have something on my shoe. 
Okay, there we go. We got it off. Up, oh, Calathea Orbifoliage. Oh, and actually a decent price. Up, oh, another lizard. This is the lizard trip. Oh, wow. He's got like a red. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Look at his throat. That's so awesome. All right. I'm going to leave you alone, though, dude. And some nice. Oh, you don't have a price on that. How much are your little ones? $14.99? That's about right. It's a little expensive, but not, not as bad as I would expect to. And some nice Maranta, red Maranta. Oh, they have some of the Calathea Flame Star, but they're huge and expensive, so I would not mind getting one of those. But I need a smaller version. I just can't do it. Can't do it. They, they don't usually have a fairly good Calathea selection here, though, actually. Oh, this is the Jungle Velvet. Oh, my God. I've never actually felt this plant before, guys. Oh, my God. Feel the underside of this. Come to here. <laughs> my husband is even impressed with that. That's velour right there. Yeah, that's like, oh, my God. Oh, that's pretty beautiful. Yeah, because I have the Zabrina, and the Zabrina feels not, yeah, that really does not have that shock, though. Alright, what do we got over okay, here? Mommy wants to look at one more thing over here, okay? Yeah. Macayanas, Marantas. There's a buggy on me. Alright, no buggy. I still have something on the bottom of my foot. I thought I got rid of it, but I apparently did not. I must have stepped in a gum or something. Ugh. Okay, ooh. Oh no, that's not it. Okay. For a second I thought that was a flame star, but it's not. I think that's just a medallion like this. Yeah. They're very really pretty with the pink on them. Okay. And then Sansevieria. I actually did find a silver flame here at one point, um, but it was too big. And then I ended up finding a better sized one at the Strangers. So they've got really nice, nice looking stuff over here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess that's just a flower stalk that has lost all of its flowers. Sansevieria Tiger. It's not one I've heard of. It doesn't look like it has any markings on it, though. Maybe it does these little, little bitty bits of white. I mean, oh, it looks, it might just be because it's so dirty you can't see it. Oh, yeah, and these are really pretty, too. Not that I want one that that's that big, but I forget what they're called. Sand Surrey? Is that actually the... I don't remember if that's actually the name. Oh, they got whale fins. Cool. A decent number of whale fins, too. I think I've seen whale fins in person before, but... Yeah. Very nice. Oh, I'm being told that that is, in fact, the name of that... I thought that it was called something else, the, the Sansevieria, but apparently that is the name of it. They got some nice moonshines over here. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a little expensive, this, that, but... Oh! There's those pots that they had at Williamsburg Pottery. <laughs> we'll see how much they cost here. Oh, look, they do have a couple silver flames, little tiny ones. Okay, I am happy with the one that I got. If they're gonna charge 20 bucks for one thing like that, then, yeah. Same price, Williamsburg Pottery had the half off. Yeah, okay, so. Um, so very glad that I got the one I, oh, 
Oh, this has feathers on it. Mm -hmm. We got a dark one. Yeah, I like the white one better. 13 bucks though. It's kind of small. Ooh. I didn't see that or hear that. We're fine. Okay. Um. Carefully everything. Have I been everywhere already? Yeah, it looks like I kind of have. Oop, I missed. There's some marantas up there that I missed. They were hanging up. But no, that's mostly everything. Um. Yeah. There's the marantas that we missed. We can come over here and stare at the orb of foliage. All right, so prices weren't as bad as I thought they'd be. And they had the philodendron burl marks, which I was kind of surprised at um, over there. But probably nothing there here that I'm going to end up getting, which is fine. But it was really good. They always had such a good selection here. Like, there's definitely plants that, you know, if I didn't already have them, I would want to get them. Like, beautiful orb of foliage. Man, I cannot wait until mine gets this big starting to get some pretty big leaves on it though so that's really cool well, what would you guys like to stare at while i'm doing the outro over folio hmm. all right so if you guys like this video go ahead and like this video um if you want to stick around i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these nursery tours because i'm in richmond so i'm going to all the nurseries here so go ahead and subscribe and more will be coming out soon and I'm so glad you guys were able to come around with me today. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.